is from 816. A spring, spring constant 600 newtons per meter, is placed in a vertical position with its lower end supported by a horizontal surface. The upper end is depressed 20 centimeters and a 4 kilogram block is placed on the depressed spring. The spring is then released from rest. How far above the point of release will the block rise? Alright, so let's take a look at what's going on here. We've compressed the spring some distance x and we placed a block on top of it and we're going to call this position point A and then sometime later the spring is sprung and will spring no more and the block has risen to some new position point B so that's going to be at some height above our original position. Oh, actually, I want to go all the way down here. And we want to find out what that height is. So that's our, that's our goal. We're going to start with the one equation to rule them all. Connect energy at A plus potential energy at A plus any work done along the way. We go to kinetic energy at B plus the potential energy at B. And our first question might be which, if any, of these terms might actually be zero. If we look at point A, we just released it. The spring hasn't started to move and the block hasn't started to move yet. So there is no velocity at point A and hence there is no kinetic energy at point A. If we look at point B, the block goes as high as it can go and go no further. It will momentarily stop and at that moment it will have no velocity at B. So we have no kinetic energy at B either. And that's two good points to select even though there's kinetic energy along the way um, it does not come into play because we only need to select two points to compare and we selected the, the two best points to do that. There's no work along the way, there's no friction, and there's no external force, so we have work on the way is zero. So now the problem is a lot easier. Uh, <clears throat> the gravitational potential energy at A is zero. If we define that level as our zero height, and everything above it as being the height from that point. So our potential of gravitational potential energy at A is zero but we do have a compressed spring so that's going to be one half kx squared for the potential energy and then at point B the spring is sprung and will spring no more so there's no potential energy due to the spring but there is potential energy due to gravity MGH so that's what we have Solving for h, 1 half kx squared, divided by mg, that's going to be 0 0.5 times the spring constant, which was 600 newtons per meter. We compressed the distance x of 20 centimeters, which is 0 0.2 meters squared, and that's over the mass, 4 kilograms, times 9.8, and that's equal to... 0 0.306 meters. So that's how high the block is going to go. 0 0.306 meters above the point of release where this was our value of x, 0.2. So 0 0.306 meters, or if we um, change that to centimeters, uh, 30.6 centimeters. That's our answer. Uh, 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 uh.